Night Attack is brought to you by all of our lovely patrons over at patreon.com slash night attack. Subscribe today to get the pre-show and after show early. Also, thank you to Doghouse Systems for powering this show. We're using their great computers and you could be using their great computers too. Get yourself a free SSD when you get a Doghouse Systems computer at doghousesystems.com and use promo code ROGUE. That's R-O-G-U-E at checkout. Our friend ICU put together this previously on video for Night Attack, episode 341. <laughs> Uh, Ander, who writes, Hello, gang. It took a while. Oh, yeah, first of all, like... boneless wings are an abomination. They are a sin against yeah. God and humanity itself. They need to be destroyed. But I finally had uh, the time to take Brian's suggestion. Uh, you know what? I demand. In fact, I would love somebody in their small town to bring up to city uh, council. <laughs> and speak to my city council. <laughs> they cannot call them boneless wings. About boneless chicken wings. Ray. We did it, Diamond Club! We did it! This is so amazing! Uh, you know where the worst place to get stung is? I'm making a guess here, and I'm not a feminist, but the female clitoris has to hurt like hell. And to me, that's that super feminist stomach. because I don't understand feminism. <laughs> Remind me to put that one in my logbook. To me, that's super feminist because I don't understand feminism. Hello, you beautiful bastards, you demon hordes of the internet. It is go time on this beautiful Tuesday night for Night Attack live from the Seven Acre Shwood, located smack dab right on the edge of the Austin city limits from the ever-expanding Diamond Club Studios. I'm Brian Brushwood, joined as always by my PFF and OAK. It's J-R-Y, Justin Robert Young. Hot man, we changed the world. We changed the world, Justin Robert. Robert Young. We did, man. We did. We 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 made we made a man a uh, uh, dream. And with that dream, he changed the world. Uh, uh, uh again, shout out to Ander. Uh, uh, Ander, who was uh so awesome and came on the happy hour the day after he was on the PX3 show, uh, which was which was was an awesome get. People loved so uh uh dude. So crazy. And I'm so glad people found that episode of Happy Hour where uh, you made you made that point. And also, I realized that that's why I didn't remember it, because I wasn't on. You were doing Q&A with the chat. Oh, and, wow. I was just filling time. Yeah. it was. I, I assume it was uh, that Thursday does, that does when, sound, I'm on, when I'm on DTNS. That does sound like kind of a Brian Solo Mike fever dream that I would make that kind of called shot. That, that would be my version of Babe Ruth only if Babe Ruth was alone in a room talking to a donor. Sure. Although I see you saying that I was on. So uh, 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 I have no excuse. I know there was one version of it where I wasn't on, but apparently for the one that actually means something, I was on. As it turns out, my brain is still being eaten by work. It doesn't matter, man. Look, we it's not our job. Our job is to entertain. It's not to remember. My you job... Are- yeah, like, my like, job I, is to talk, not to remember. Yeah, uh, I said that to my wife once. She she didn't dig that so much. She uh, <laughs> she, she really expressed that she would appreciate it if I also remembered. <laughs> Women. <laughs> We're done with that. Uh, <laughs> hey, man, we're uh, we're 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 uh, pup date, pup date. Ba-da, ba-da, ba-da. Oh, oh my God! All right, all right. So for those of you who don't uh, know, number one, uh, a big uh, uh, welcome also to our producer Bryce Neskam Neskam Castillo. How you doing, buddy? I'm good. How are you? Uh, number two, uh, <laughs> I don't know why I, I don't know why I asked you in the first place. I shouldn't have asked you how you were. So, uh, we're in the middle of the fucking show. Uh, we're in the middle here. of the show, but also <laughs> producers, I was just trying right? to just try, producers. They, they think they could just ask us questions? You're not interviewing us. We're the ones no. interviewing you. No. Yeah. <laughs> uh, number two, you are in the process of adopting a Weimaraner puppy. We spent. About as much time as Oliver Stone has spent with the Zapruder film, yeah, yeah, yeah. with a like fifteen second piece of iPhone video to yeah. decide the entire personalities of these Weimaraner yep. puppies based on like just a scant shred of evidence. What is the latest? Uh, the latest is, uh, and and we can see if if you'll notice, uh, slow down the footage. Can we go? Can we go half speed here? It's very difficult to see. You're there, there. There's pink. 
and purple. There's pink. There's and, a yellow one. And, and yellow. Yes, uh, yes. And, 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 and somebody else is stolen. I mean, already had first pick of the litter of the other. Huh? Uh, I, I, I don't know if we've officially announced it. We almost certainly have. I wouldn't remember. My job is to talk, not remember. Yep. Ladies yep. and gentlemen, give me an echo here. <clears throat> Your brushwood, brushwood water honor, honor is purple. purple! Uh, All right. Yeah. So which one? Uh, purple was the one with the uh, purple the, collar. The, yeah. Well, I know, I know, I know, but I don't remember the video. <laughs> okay. Yeah, your job uh, is to talk, not to remember. Yeah. Exactly. I believe purple yeah. was the more a type A yeah. dog. Uh, 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 sort of clueless, doing its own thing, not really following. Like, well, whatever. I'm interested in this now. Um, and we, uh, 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 I think the name is going to be Joy, or Joyful. Uh, the uh, uh, the alternate that, that that we popped up with last night was hip hip hooray, and the reason being, it, when it escapes and we need to call for it, we'll have to walk around the neighborhood <laughs> going hip hip hooray, hip hip hooray, or when we're mad at it, it's hard to be mad when it's like hip hip hooray, get over here. You still went up. What I like is that you still go up. Yeah. When you not like exactly. hip hip hooray. No, you're like hip hip hooray. You, know, you, you just have to you just have to furrow your brow a little yeah. further at it so it understands. Because you're gonna need to communicate that that's bad, right? <laughs> Everything can't be a birthday party, right? Uh, yeah, no, but I, but I, I think we're probably gonna go with joy. <laughs> joy is a beautiful name. Yeah. When is joy coming home? I, I believe is what everybody will want to know. I believe next week on this very show we'll be able oh, wow. to show off the dog. It, it's i believe it's this friday yeah bonnie has been dog proofing the entire house i've read for the second time uh the art of raising a puppy by a bunch of monks um uh, that's not the full title it's that's the author the author is a bunch of monks a and, bunch of monks yeah and it's the art of raising a puppy uh and like you listen to three and a half hours of that and it's like i think that's just going to be on repeat in my ears for the next like uh week what and are the lessons that a bunch of monks throw at you on raising a puppy? Man, they are very specific, which is why I want First, to First, live with a lot of other men. <laughs> right? Uh, and, and, and seclude yourself from earthly treasures. <laughs> right? Second, never get talk. a dog. <laughs> Third, never talk about it. But but it's like, uh, uh, yeah, no, they're, they're like not treat-based and, and a lot of, uh, you know, the the only negative thing you do is say no and get their attention and then immediately reward them with affectionate praise or whatever. I think like the, the most negative thing you do would be to sort of, sort of grab them by the scruff and just get their attention by scruffing them around a little bit. Um, yeah. uh, I need to read it enough because uh, like the language they use is it, like the pictures I have. It's are, Latin. Can you believe it? Yeah. <laughs> no, no. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> you had to learn the dead language to, uh, to, to appreciate this audio book. <laughs> but uh, uh, anyway, we're, we're really excited. We'll see. We'll see how it goes. Uh, uh, we will update. Uh, how excited are the girls? I'm sure the girls are just over the moon. Uh, yeah, they, I mean, the girls are over the moon in, in so far as, you know, it was like, yay, we got our choice, purple. But, you know, Bonnie, of course, is losing her goddamn mind because she has to puppy proof everything. And, you know, gotcha. she's, uh, and what's funny is she's buying all of the puppy everythings. And, you know, 20 years ago when money was tighter and we were just getting started in our 20s, like, I would be like, like, that's that's a bullshit device that won't do anything. That's a dumb bullshit device. That's another. Do Who needs three dog beds or whatever? Oh, uh, yeah. And, and, like what? Uh, that's literally just a baby carriage on your chest to to th that that to is have gonna, a little puppy. Yeah. To have a puppy for about three minutes until it outgrows it. That's terrible. Exactly, Don't yeah. spend that. But being in your mid forties, it's like. That's cute. <laughs> That's cute. Keep I, I, it going. I, I'm Keep that, it going. I'm getting yeah. a little taste of of that grandparent life where it's just like, yeah, that's adorable. Ah, sure. Fuck it. Why not Let's buy two roll. of those? Yeah, absolutely. No, dude, that's that's uh that that's so awesome, man. I'm I'm so excited and uh uh I'm I'm glad you guys are are, are doing this. I think this is gonna be like a, a huge, huge, huge. A moment for an otherwise desolate year of 2020. <laughs> meanwhile, well, meanwhile, on the flip side, 
who boy is sneakers old and blind and deaf and like he's he's at the point now where he's uh lights on or lights off that dude is walking straight into not doors but walls <laughs> Gotcha. He's walking straight Blind into as hell. Straight into. They don't even move. It's not like the walls I, I, of your house have changed. I, you don't live in Spelunky. Oh like he, the walls are gonna be what they are. He's straight up walking into <laughs> piles of laundry. He's straight up walking into the oh. bed. He's straight up walking into piles of clothes hangers. Is what I just saw today. And I'm like, hey, buddy, I'm over here. But maybe then, I, I wouldn't keep pile of clothes hangers on the ground in the first place. Maybe that one is on the. Well, we're one. busy pr- puppy. Proofing. Hey, you have to it's, sometimes it's, put it's, piles of it's, things. It's Brian's <laughs> job to take clothes off the hangers, not put them back. <laughs> and certainly not remember where I put them. No, straight out. <laughs> yeah, no, it's tough. Uh, although once once he figures out that that's a human hand touching him, he is very appreciative of the the, the you know the face pettings. But it's like you kind of have to say like, "Hey, buddy." Hey, buddy, these are, the, these are my hands. You feel the back of my hands. These are the back of my hands on your face. There we go. Now they're curving around. Oh, and now they're kind of on top. There you go. Okay, all right. We're good. Hey, buddy. I mean, and, then, and then he just offers this. He does this sneakers, and you know this sound. He goes. <laughs> like sneakers. It's really I, I, getting late I, in the I, game. <laughs> all I know is this. Sneakers is the ultimate survivor. Goddamn like, right. If there's one thing that you need to know about sneakers is he's going to be here. <laughs> like, just don't be surprised. In 30 years, Brian is bringing sneakers to my funeral. <laughs> like, like that is, that is uh, 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 to me, a fully, fully, fully possible scenario. You, uh, uh, M- Mizzoula is, he, himself he, he would probably go forward. Would probably admit uh, you don't bet against sneakers. <laughs> like you can Never make bet. any bet Never ever. Never bet. Because I'll tell you what, he's been a heavy underdog many <laughs> times, many times, and he's always beaten the odds. Oh, uh, well that's well that's awesome. So we're uh, obviously at Schwood on Twitter. Uh, that's I'm sure where you're gonna yeah. put like all the all the pup dates, all the all the homecoming. Uh, stuff is there anything yet to be decided that that like the chat realm can help with or or anything that is yet to be resolved um maybe a middle name if if we go with joy i should it be joy or joyful that's one and then also if there's a middle name also uh way on the outside hip hip hooray we'll we'll keep that one on the table just keep in case. that on the back burner <laughs> let's just leave it there in case we need it so how about this so brushwood is brushwood the last name yeah assume, it's gotta be right? right so joy middle name brushwood that's what brian's looking for hit him up uh over the next couple of days at <laughs> joy Schwood behar brushwood <laughs> there we go there we go look let's keep those going let's keep those going tonight and then on twitter hey brian you want to know where people can keep going their financial support of this program uh, I, I i don't know of any place for anyone to do that i i thought that we were a dead end financially and that uh we gave our services as a gift to the world even though it would eventually cripple us and uh leave us destitute well, there's only two ways that you can give us money. Number one, roll up a hundred dollars into an old glass bottle and throw it into the ocean. We will uh, <laughs> we'll eventually uh, leave it, it leave it to yeah. Poseidon to bring us our bounty. Or if you want to take that process digital, you can go to patreon.com slash night attack. Digital. Tell me more. Uh, patreon.com slash night attack is where you can kick in your cash. On a reoccurring basis. But it's not just money for nothing and chicks for free. No, no, no. You get something for your cash. And that cash is uh, an RSS feed. That cash is access to our Discord. That cash is the the, the good feeling that you're going to know each and every night that you have made this program continue on and on into its lifespan head on over there right now patreon.com slash goddamn right and don't forget that you get the pre-show the post-show everything in between it's like you get double the show every single week and of course you know we're doing night uh, we're doing night attack happy hour every single day for you guys except for on tuesdays because we're also doing night attack we realized that that was a bit too far that was a little bit too much (laughs) but you can get so much more in your own feed and if you're a new pledger or if you up your pledge you have a chance to randomly be called out in a little thing we like to call ladies and and gentlemen, it's time for the Night Attack new Patreon name chant corner hour. It's 
an hour of <laughs> all right i'm pretty sure this is a superhero I, I i haven't watched all of season two of the boys but i'm pretty sure this superhero shows up in the boys so so i need a, i need an imaginary scene of a, a, a wwe style face off in the ring who is the villain that this person's gonna take on Oh, well, I mean, of course, that would be the horrifyingly terrible uh, Ivan, the uh, uh, the guy the unfortunate. who's picking up poop. <laughs> Ivan and the he's guy. like, and he's like, I love it. Finally, my calling. And then he like has some poop in his hand, but he eats a little bit of it. And he's like, I'll save the rest for later. And he puts it in to a to a white collared shirt pocket oh, and you just see a lump of poop in his front pocket and what is this super villain superpower oh he eats poop right he loves it that's it he gets another he, he just loves poop. it he just and then he put well he wants to save it he's also frugal i don't know if it costs money or anything i haven't gotten to that part of the script but like uh, he shouts to the audience not only do i pick up poop and nibble a little but it yeah. saves me money because i shop only on the 99 percent 99 cent value menu at wendy's at wendy's for poop <laughs> they sell poop now uh, uh, and that's his chant. Like they sell poop. No, they. <laughs> that's what the crowd who loves him because they want to be that guy. Okay. And then, meanwhile, on the other hand, uh, in the other corner is somebody who like literally shoots lightning. Uh, ah, yeah. Ladies, poops, poops, natural enemy. <laughs> Ladies and, Ladies and gentlemen, in the beginning, in the beginning God, God said, said, let there be poop. Be poop. <laughs> there was there poop. Was then God said, let electricity, electricity destroy poop. poop. And, and thus, thus was, was born so your Maz Electra. Maz Electra. Maz Electra. Maz Electra. Maz Electra. Electra, Ooh, that was pretty good. Uh, well, thank you, Maz. Uh, and, and thank you to anybody who supports us at patreon.com slash night attack. But also we want to recognize everybody who watches us live. We have always been a live stream. Uh, from the very beginning and that's who we like to recognize people who are here at twitch.tv slash night attack each and every tuesday at 10 p.m eastern time and brian i'm gonna tell you a little story is it a true story oh my god is it true all right so you know it was half past day and 30 and you know i got my babcat growling if you if you want to know the honest truth and I'm thinking, well, do I fight Groth or do I go get something to eat? And so I'm browsing everything on Postmates. I see KFC. I see DSA 89. I see Indian. And I go, wait a minute. Am I going to be a Casey Blackburn here or am I going to go and get exactly what I want to eat? The sub marginals. If you ain't never been there, they got subs, but they're marginally better than other subs. So it's like Quiznos, but it's marginally more toasted. And it's Subway, but it's marginally more lettuce. So I contact science professional Kishore Hari, and he says, yeah, don't be a drama jock. Go get yourself a sandwich. And so I uh, make my way over there. I pass somebody with a... Uh, 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 license plate that says evil bands 411 and uh, then i <laughs> ate a sandwich and i died oh i think oh I, th I think it was evil beans but that's fine oh yeah <laughs> well oh sorry i didn't notice because it was numbers <laughs> did, 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 it was on uh tell me at, at any point did you poop your pants dot com <laughs> The bit boss. Who's the bit boss? Thank you to our current bit boss. There's a bit of a bitting war. Uh, Jordan Damas is the bit boss so far, and Biz Dism is the sub boss, having gifted five gift subs. Uh -oh. Thank you so much to both of you. The sub. Uh, to the sub, yeah. sub marginal. 
sub marginal man i actually like that idea for a sub shop it's like <laughs> look we'll just take all their gimmicks and we'll do it marginally better <laughs> like it's like if if quiznos does it at a certain temperature five degrees hotter <laughs> so like, it's a little bit more burned it's, it's like, just a little oh. bit more burned and, then, and yeah. then they start getting challenged it's like our expiration date is 20 days after we purchase it you're like oh yeah Ours will be 21, just a little bit older, a little bit marginal, <laughs> just marginal. Mar marginally, it's marginal. It's marginally marginal. older. Uh, it's experience. Uh, our, our subs are marginally smaller. Uh, they're uh, marginally or poorer. marginally larger, depending <laughs> on what size you want. It's true. Oh. Hey, Rice, you got a game for us. Hi, we do. Yeah. Uh, we received an, a new game from uh who someone who is rapidly becoming a, a famous game writer for us ball washer 69 ah, our uh, future ball president washer ball washer 69 a name you can trust when you hear ball washer 69 you think quality <laughs> <laughs> and uh they have sent in this game that they call naughty or nautical that's right, me hearties. In each round, you will be given an obscure seafaring That's jargon it. or Poop piece deck. of sexual euphemism. And oh, you'll have to God decide if it. it is nautical or naughty. Uh, yeah. Uh, I would trust nobody better than Ballwasher69 to come up with a game like this. Yeah. It's some good Which, work nautical. Ex Ex ball oh, ball no, washer. Ball washer. Yeah, yeah, ball washer. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, no, no. I believe it's golfical. Uh, oh, the oh. yeah, sixty nine is is a well, good score sexual. in golf. That is a good yeah, right. You're like, and then oh, you wash your uh, balls I'm, when you play golf. When you're like, I I played that game so well, I'm gonna wash my balls. Mm, I mean, they're dirty because you hit the balls all over them. I hit my balls so hard, and it's I not tapped them. It's and then I hit them. And then I tapped them, <laughs> and then I got them out of the sand, and then I got them out of the woods. <laughs> I played it where it lies. I'm washing my balls. Uh, it, it, this is I, Andrew Dice Clay. You're just doing clay now. Hey! I'm washing my balls away. Oh! Hey, hey, hey! Hey, diddle, diddle! The balls and the fiddle were playing uh, the Fuzzy Zeller, Tiger Woods. Oh! How many people do you think sneak on to famous golf courses and, and fuck the 18th hole? Have intercourse with it? Oh, I mean, well, I mean, I mean, Probably. I mean, the course is already there, so I don't know if it's really. In, I mean, you're. I imagine there. you wouldn't want to do it on the 18 hole know. since it's so close to the clubhouse. You would want to do it All on I nine want. or ten. <laughs> like we know that we live in a universe that it's turned its eyes away from God. When Brian said that, and immediately, like a hole in his studio was it kicked in, and a man who is no larger than four foot five with a gigantic Fu Manchu mustache stepped in with smoke billowing behind him and just goes, you rang? <laughs> At least dip their balls in it. Come on. I mean, you're telling yeah. me you go to the Masters oh, no, no, and no, it's no. just like a one second gents. Yeah, exactly. You're like, check you're that one off the list. Oh, I'm sorry. Your major scores has its 18 hole. Scooper Nova girl has it. Oops. That's the only legal hole because it's the 18th. Fair point. Yeah. Anything else, and you're fucked up, dude. Yeah. Fucking go watch Cuties on <laughs> Netflix. Eat some poop <laughs> and they get zapped by him. Yeah. Maz Electra. <laughs> so, uh, and also, uh, so you're going to guess if uh, the term is nautical or naughty, and whoever's closest to the definition will get an extra bonus point. <sighs> According yeah. to what, though? Huh? Uh, oh, oh, science. Oh, got it. Okay, Actually, good. Science, science will do that. Uh, so we got a first one here. Man, big, big warm-up week for science. With Kiki coming on <laughs> That's right. We have Dr. Kiki next week. week. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So hopefully science is in, in shape. Science by the way, by off. the way, uh, big, uh, big week. If anybody wants to write a science versus science game uh, <laughs> next week, now is, now's the time. <laughs> All right, Brian, we're going to start with you on this one. All right. The term is... Oakum. 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 O A K U M? That's right. Oakum. Okay. May you please use it in a sentence? <laughs> I can't because. <laughs> okay. okay. Yeah. Oh, geez. Look at that. Oakum. Okay. All right. All right. Um, <laughs> I believe that is a nautical term that refers to the froth 
from the engine wash behind a destroyer class ship. Sea foam and behind a. It's also cum. Flash cum. Colloquial. I mean, I think Brian. Yeah. Flash cum. Like it's referred to they, by sailors as. Right. Because they don't want to call oh. them seamen. They're tired of that. Right. So there's like. Oh, they call themselves O cum. Yeah, oh, no, no. Well, no, no, no. It's oh, the no. foam. Hold on. Because they're not seemen. Does get kind of curious O-cum. there. Yeah. No, I think oakum is is froth from Aye the there, butt O-cum. of a boat. We're a bunch of Australian sailors. We're oakums. <laughs> Fair dinkum. We're oakum. <laughs> yeah. Bob's your uncle. We're oakum. <laughs> Bob's your uncle's a British thing. Well, I learned it from my British friend. <laughs> That's another oakum thing. We all have British friends. Now you say you're a fan of oakum, but where do you come from? Oh, oh, oh no! Oh, good time to punch oh, out, goodness. Punch goodness. out. Goodness. ladies and gentlemen. Ladies and Kanye, gentlemen Kanye West. <laughs> okay, hopefully he's back. There we go. There Sorry. he is. Okay. Got him plugged. Oh. Uh, yeah, I gotta go. That was a, that was a, that was a very convenient time to have him. Uh, technical error. Justin Oakum, is it nautical or naughty? Uh, I, I, I'm gonna go nautical as well. I think it is uh, probably like some kind of knot or some shit. It's just like, like make sure you tie an oakum before you go to sleep. <laughs> I'm, I'm the old grizzled captain, and I said the oakums only. That's my favorite website that I made for knots. Oakumfans.com. Oakumfans.com is my second favorite website. It also refers to my favorite knot. All right. <laughs> You've both said uh, it is not a cold. Well, Oak- you got to apply Oakum's razor to that one because. That's what my favorite knot would decide. But you gotta be careful when you're tired and oakum, because you just might choke him. Yeah, oakum will choke him. Bob's your uncle. <laughs> no, God damn it, I told you, listen, we may be twins, but you're from Australia. That's my phrase. That's what we oakum say when we're sailing the waves. <laughs> British friends that are also named Dave. Listen up, Dave. I've got an oakum here. <laughs> All right, you both said nautical and oakum yeah. is yeah. Yeah. nautical. <laughs> oh my God, I don't want to know what the other side of that is. <laughs> I still have to find that sound effect. Turns out it's hard to find. When you uh, type in sexy moan into Google, you get some very specific <laughs> results. Uh, yeah. That's right. It is a uh, nautical term. Oakum is old ropes that have been untwisted <laughs> for oh my God. caulking the seams of ships in shipbuilding. That, we're going to give that to Justin. Yeah. 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 No, that's good. Good job, Dave. Here we go. It is fair dinkum. No, no, Dave. no. Yeah, the Oakums, the Oakums only have British friends named Dave, <laughs> <laughs> For, mostly because they rhyme with wave. <laughs> All right, let's do. Rat- <laughs> Justin, we're gonna start with you on this one. Ratline, ratline, R A T L I N E, ratline. Oh man. A rat line, I think, is, um, I think a rat line is nautical. You're going to say nautical. All right. I feel like a rat line is, uh, a rat line is when you're, 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 you're trying to group your ropes and, uh, you, you've, uh, you've got like one stray rope. And so instead of it being a bushel of ropes, you're like, God damn, get the rat line, Edwards. And Edwards is just fucking up as usual. And like, you know, he's got rat lines everywhere. And and he's like, oh, sorry. And you're like, I should have never taken you in as an orphan. And then you punch him and he falls off. The and that's road. why he wrote that song. Rat 
lines. Do 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 going through my mind as Edward falls to the bottom of the ocean and he keeps singing. Rats lines. Um, hey, uh, I'm gonna use a phone a friend on this one. He's an actual sea captain, uh, so I'm pretty sure that's fair for me to do. Okay, uh, sure. Uh, here we go. I'm gonna just. Here. <clears throat> I'm calling an actual sea captain. Hold on. <laughs> this, this rather is, famous. It's a little uncouth, I think. <laughs> Yo, thank you. Oh. Uh, captain Morgan. Is that Captain Morgan? <laughs> it's me, Captain Morgan. <laughs> Listen, I'm, I'm on a game show, and I need, yeah. a, I need a little help. I have to find out if a term is naughty. Who the fuck is this? <laughs> oh, sorry. It's Brian. It's Brian Brushwood. Oh, hello. I'm here for you, Brian. <laughs> I know, I know. I knew you would I'm be. I'm always here. <laughs> okay, so listen. Sometimes I think about your new hair. <laughs> oh, oh, what do you and think I, about it? Well, I just I'd like to think how it would go through the air, and we'd be on the board, and then we'd be saying, just talking about life, having ha hard seltzers. <laughs> so, so you are a yeah. fan of hard seltzers. I love them. <laughs> no, I, I, I used to call them spikes. <laughs> no. And I would say, I would say, give me a spike. I'm going to drink so many spikes, I'm going to spike out of my own nips. No, no, is this, is this back when you and, and Jeep Drop were running together? Me and Jeep Drop, what a piece of shit. <laughs> oh, I no? have to say, well, here's the deal. You drink enough spikes and then you tell Jeep Chop what your true passion in life is. And he says, you're not going to make friendship bracelets for a living. Oh, so, so. And, you, and you sidekick him right in the ribs and then he falls down and sues you. Because no, no. apparently that's illegal. Okay, okay so there, there are two revelations here. One, uh, I would have thought that rum would have been your passion uh, or piracy, but it turns out it's 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 friendship bracelets. Uh, holy shit! You're trying to get me sued, Brian. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. My name is Captain Morgan, a real person, not any intellectual property owned by Diageo Bottlers. Come on, Brian. <laughs> oh, I'm so sorry. Act right. I Act right with Captain Morgan. Okay, listen, uh, uh, um, Bryce. Would you repeat the questions? Uh, I, I think the captain can help me out here. That's right, Captain. We're looking for. Uh, if a term is naughty or nautical, the term is ratline, R-A-T-L-I-N-E. Oh, jeez, Brian. I've been in a few rat lines. <laughs> oh, my God. That sounds like it's a very naughty thing. Well, you know, uh, when you're in port, <laughs> a rat line is when you and a couple close friends... Yeah. Are all visiting yes. the same whore, <laughs> and you have your Attention. arms on each other's shoulders, and you're doing the bunny hop, but instead you're going, <laughs> we're rats, and then you bang her. In succession. Okay. It's a rat line. It's a real thing. It's very naughty. Okay. All right. Thank you very much, Captain Morgan. We'll see you. Bye. Right. Oh, God. Oh it, look, I, I have it on high authority <clears throat> after using my phone to friend. <laughs> yeah. yeah. That, uh, that, uh, that is a naughty, naughty thing. You're going to say it's naughty. And what would you what, what would you think the definition would be? Um, I believe it's <laughs> when you're in port. <laughs> You got to ask the final, the final and answer. And you're all doing the same girl. <laughs> and you all have your hands on each other's backs. Okay. And you all go. <laughs> okay. A conga line with rats. Yeah. Now. That, that, and, and again, yeah. this is this is from tip top. Uh, I mean, the only thing higher than a captain is. Uh, a, a, a captain is very. He's a captain very, after he uh, visits his dealer. Captain is a captain whether or not. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You think he's a captain. Also, yeah. good sportsmanship, Justin, for just rolling with that. Being super cool that Ryan's using his lifeline so early in the game. That's really yeah, well, you know, look, uh, uh, if he's going to put his name on that trash, let him do it. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Justin has said it is not a cool. Brian has said it is not a rat line is... 
Nautical! Oh, he did mention that it was in port. Maybe that's what he was thinking. He did mention I'm oh, sure it was an honest mistake. because it's not on the boat. Yeah. He was in port when it happened. Yeah. yeah. Uh, probably probably like drinking Morgan, port. Quite a, quite a rascal. Yeah. Rat lines, pronounced apparently ratlins, are the uh, the little rope ladders you see going ah. from the uh, uh, the edge of the uh, ship up to the mast. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, that'll happen. You did have the part where you grab onto something in front of you. And you go... <laughs> yeah, like, that's yeah, also yeah. another thing yeah, that you no, do that does, on that those does make sense. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, so Maybe he was thinking of the Scatlins. Mm. Well, maybe you should call that Captain Morgan on the next one. <laughs> 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 All right, so we're currently at a score of one to four here as we go into round three. <clears throat> All right, term number three. A schoon. Schoon, S-K-O-O-N, a schoon. Brian, we're going to start with you on this one, schoon. No, oh, I mean, a, a schoon is as nautical as it gets. As a, it's it's, it's, yeah, it's it? tautologically nautical. It's a schoon, it's a boat. It's, it's uh, you, uh, you, you ride it. Okay, a boat that you ride. Yes. All right, Justin, schoon, S-K-O-O-N. Um... I think that's naughty. I think it's when you're spooning naked <laughs> with your partner, but instead of a regular spoon, you're you're gonna you're gonna scare spoon them. <laughs> and so what you do is you just sneak a pound of hamburger meat into the bed, and then you just go like, "Man, I'm really glad we got away with running over." That old witch, <laughs> and then your partner's like, your part, your partner's like, yeah, me too. And then you go, what's happening to my face? <laughs> and then you just press the entire hamburger meat into the back of their neck, and they're like, what the fuck? And then they're like, ah, schooned you. <laughs> You're like, oh, sorry, was that too schoon? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Oh, right. So I think that's what I think that's what a schoon is. Okay. A naughty schoon. Okay. You're naked while you do it. That's what makes it naughty. Uh, of, obviously, Justin, <laughs> yeah. you're naked while yeah. you do it. All right. Exactly. Brian has said nautical. Justin has said naughty. Schoon is Oh, that's not a good sound effect. I'm going to find another one. That's naughty. Dude, that's exactly what I would, the sound I would make if Justin put hamburger meat on the back of my neck after all of yep. that. Yep. <laughs> I don't even know if that was sexual. <laughs> <laughs> uh, schoon is, uh, uh, oh my goodness, I've got the wrong link here. A schoon, ah, here we go, is uh, a circle on the breast of which the nipple is the center. The distance from the tip of the nipple to the edge of the arrhythmia, arrhythma, the red part, is half of the radius of the schoon. Okay, do me your very best <laughs> effort to uh, read all of that it, as, as if you're in the middle of a bridge of a Mary Poppins uh, uh, song. Uh, yeah, go ahead, Bryce. <laughs> oh. Circle on the breast of which the nipples center. The distance from the tip of the nipple to the edge of the arrhythmia, the red part. And, you know, like like do that. I, actually, I just I think you just, I think you nailed it. You just did it. But no, 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 here, no. Brian, do it again. But the one thing you need is that Dick Van Dyke, like, hand to the edge of your uh, <laughs> right. uh, face for, 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 for the red part. You okay, go, got the red part. <laughs> like Nipple to the edge of the arrhythmia, but the arrhythmia, the red part, is half of the radius of the schoon. Did you see the schoons on that hoe? <laughs> Time to hit the old schoon. Did you see the schoons on that hoe? And I was thinking <laughs> the 50 other Dick Van Dykes that pop up behind you. <laughs> Yeah. It's become a sea shanty, ironically enough, <laughs> it sounds like. Yeah, All right, so that's uh, two points for Justin. Congratulations, Justin. Wow. All right. Very excited about that. Very excited. I might schoon Ashley later tonight. <laughs> I don't know if I have any hair. I, it might be improper to schoon a vegan. That's actually true. Yeah, or what? Are you just riding in a boat? No, I'd have to get beyond meat. <laughs> That's <No. good. laughs> impossible meat. I'd be like, oh no, don't worry. Don't I worry. got Save Why it. are you mad? I got impossible <laughs> meat. Lab this is the impossible schoon. <laughs> 
God. All right. Impossible. Come to us for your October surprise. Your October promos. Your October, your spooky October we'll, promos. We'll call it the October surprise. Look, nobody's able to do Halloween, so you need new ways to sell. No one's having parties. Scoon your partner. Scoon your vegan partner with impossible meat. Oh, better schooner than later. All right, Justin, we're starting with you on this. Scoon, man! <laughs> Grab the possible meat in your hands. <laughs> Surprise her! <laughs> Did you run over that old witch? I don't know. Let's go ride in a boat. All right, Justin, we're starting with you on this one. Your term is... Yeah. I'm glad this episode's coherent. <laughs> Duck butter. Duck butter. D U C K B U T T E R. Nautical or naughty? Duck butter. Duck butter. I'm going duck, to duck. D U butter. D U C K. Oh, otherwise that was a slam dunk. <laughs> <laughs> that was a slam dunk. Duck oh, butter. Duck, duck butter. butter. Oh, Jesus, prudes. Um, I mean, I, I can remind you, you have a phone, a friend, because I used mine. That's right. I'm gonna hold on to it for He's right gonna now. Hold, okay, okay. I'm gonna hold on to it for right now on, a little on game strategy. Duck butter, yeah. Um, talk it out. What, what what's your head at? All right. Why so, is it tough? I mean, I, I I think this is nautical. I think that that the duck butter is uh, uh, some kind of uh, 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 froth that comes up. Maybe you think it looks like duck shit or something, but it's like it's some element of the boat that is like squeezing out some kind of molasses like ooze. It's duck butter. It's nautical. All right, Brian. Duck I butter. also think it is nautical, but for the reverse reason. Justin thinks it's something that squeezes out of the boat. I mm -hmm. think it's a waxy substance you use to waterproof various aspects of the boats. Oi, get back there and cover the poop deck with duck butter. Go on, uh, 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 Bob's your uncle. <laughs> the British tapes. <laughs> yeah, oh. yeah, yeah. Terrorizing uh, the Australian seas. Yes, the Australian. Uh, <laughs> These Oakums. Australian seas are seeping the into Aussie my Oakums. Sco sc sc well, scooter. No, 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 no. They're natural. They're natural friends, though. The the British Daves and the Australian Oakums. Well, they're, 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 yeah, they're they're, 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 they're brothers, right? Yeah, they're brothers in arms. Yeah, yeah. I see. Get um, below decks and grab that duck butter. Get up on the poop deck and spread it around. Spread the duck butter. You oh, are you. I ought, to, I ought to make you spread that duck butter, but I'm doing it right now. You are spreading. <laughs> you up there. A firm support for the crown. <laughs> okay. Either way, both Brian and I, for whatever reason, the way that we're physically <laughs> representing a British sea captain is to put one finger in the air and wave it around, like as if you are giving like a like a, a big speech. Although technically, we're pointing in opposite directions because you're down in Australia and and I'm I know uh, yeah I'm British, exactly yeah. And so imagine that, but we're both singing somewhere out there from American <laughs> Tale. <laughs> All right, uh, you have both said duck butter is nautical, and duck butter is 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 naughty. <laughs> Hold on, hey, who's been about with the duck butter? This is meant Wait, are to you be just... <laughs> waxing poop decks. What are you, are you been just using playing... it for? <laughs> <laughs> like just porn like cause that wasn't even like a sound effect that was just like I'm you just trying. played porn hub. there's not there's a there's a there's line not a lot of moaning women on the internet it's not a it's lot not yeah. like he has a lot of choices he's going with what he has i mean like no you would think that you would get one isolated <laughs> moan it's just a sounder like you were we're not looking for a soundscape we're not trying to build like he's a, doing the best he can man. he's only got all of the internet and all of recorded history 
he had his fingertips. The thing is, they're all ringtones, and they're all 30 seconds long. So there has to be multiples. All right. Wait, why are you looking for sexy ringtones? Also, I'm not looking for sexy ringtones. ringtones. I mean, j just play just play one week by Bare Naked Ladies. I mean, yeah, that's it's a been. Yeah. It's been. <laughs> uh, duck butter is the combination of sweat from the ball sack and anus that creates a buttery film on the grundle in butthole. Uh, usually uh, from an unwashed scrotum, creating a smelly odor. With his answer of froth that looks like duck crap oozing off of a boat, Justin's going to get the, po the point on that one. Uh, okay, I, yeah. I, I, I so maintain... the combination of sweat from the ball sack and anus that creates a buttery film on the ground of a bottle, occurring usually from an unwashed scrotum, creating a smelly odor that worsens and thickens an odor by the minute, also known as DB or D. Bobby rolled his deep all over his roommate's pillow and killed the killer debate today. Hey! I maintain that this would be a fantastic way to seal off your poop dick, is uh, just <laughs> rub in that duck butter. Uh, I still say, if, if it's not nautical, it soon will be. <laughs> it's a, it's, doctors don't want pirates to know this one secret <laughs> no, trick. This one secret <laughs> trick. Proofing your boat. <laughs> the quick, it's uh, been <laughs> one week since you rubbed the deck with the DB that sealed uh, all the cracks now. <laughs> All right, as we go into our fifth round, the score is one for Brian, six for Justin. Oh, my goodness. Man, Justin is just so thankful that you're not using the Halloween scream. He is, isn't he? Yeah, I swear to God. <laughs> fucking, this is your problem. This is your character problem, Brian. Your character problem is that when you get behind, you get desperate, and you start doing things that at some point you're not going <laughs> to... <laughs> oh no! Don't, oh, he's got a he's got a duck butter face on. I'm sorry. Duck butter face. <laughs> <laughs> that is the duck butter face. Can you give us the duck butter face? No, I'm not gonna give you the duck butter face. <laughs> fuck you! Okay. Fuck you and fuck you too. Okay. Fuck both of you. Oh. Somebody grabbed grabbed it. I hope you? you both fuck the 18th hole on a terrible golf course. <laughs> Just a garbage course, and I hope there's a crab in there, because this is nautical theme. <laughs> Just a lonely little hermit crab, and he finds your pee hole as its new shell. And you have to just live with a little hermit crab in your dick, and you name him Ted. <laughs> Oh, and you say, I got crabs. Well, crab singular. And you think it's a funny joke, but you pull your dick out at a party and no one laughs. And everyone just thinks it's weird that you have a crab in your dick and you pulled your dick out at a party and, you're, and your partner's mad at you because this was a very important party because it was the first one after the pandemic. All right, Justin, That's what I hope. Okay. Justin, I, I told you that story in confidence. And I'm really upset. <laughs> <It's been. laughs> all right so we're gonna double all the points starting now uh brian we're gonna start with you on this one your term is blue peter god damn it e l u e uh, space p e t e r blue peter that is a nautical term okay. for a good luck pelican that appears on the starboard bow just before sunset. Good luck, Pelican. Oh, that's sweet. Yes. All right. Uh, Justin, a blue Peter. Guys, I really need this one. <laughs> well, all right. Well, let's... I'm going to use my I'm going to use my phone a friend. Here. Oh, he's going to use his phone a friend. Okay. Well, uh, our friends yeah. over at uh, AT and P are uh, going to hook you up as you call into your friend, uh, whoever that may be. <laughs> Well, how do you do? It's your favorite. <laughs> Hold on. How do you do? It's your favorite, Admiral. Admiral Nelson. What can I do to help you? I'm always here to help all of my friends. I assume this is one of my friends calling right now. Uh, hi, Admiral. It's it's me, Justin Robert Young. I know that I could always turn to you. Oh, my goodness. Uh, did you need to know what a certain state capital was or what your favorite rum is? Uh, or maybe why the British Empire should never have been betrayed by those jerk dudes down under you yeah. know who i'm talking about yeah, or know. why piracy is bad i know hey fuck fucking oakum am i right uh but here's uh, the deal i need to know what a uh i need to know what a blue peter is a blue peter 
Yeah. That's a move. Have, you, have, you, have, you, have you ever seen a blue Peter time. in your life? Well, I mean, it's not a thing to see. It's a thing you do. Why don't you take a look at me on the bottle? I'm a blue Peter. It's somebody who's smug, wearing blue, and is fucking your mom. Wow. Wait. Like, who's, like, my mom or, or just or just somebody's? Everyone's mom. I'll fuck anyone's mom. That's why I, how do you think I got to be an admiral? You fuck moms for rank? <laughs> yeah, including the queen mother. Holy shit, dude. The queen wait, mother? Wait. Holy shit. <laughs> wait, hold on. So, so you, I, is that an episode of The Crown? Uh, well, the crown is when she gave birth to my son illegitimately. What the fuck? The queen mother gave birth to your son? Yeah, that's why it's called the crown. His head became coming out of her vagina, and my royal blue Peter blood was born into the illegitimate secret throne. That's why I have power, and you can too. Would you like to have sex? Right now with me? <laughs> I mean, if you're fertile. I'm not. I'm a man. <laughs> oh, that's disappointing. Anyway, <laughs> what's the capital of South Dakota? <laughs> Is it Bismarck? I don't know. I'm too fucking high. Holy <laughs> shit. Nelson, Admiral Nelson. Nelson. So wait, hold on. Hey, wait, what happened to your illegitimate wow. son? He became Prince Charles. So wait, so you are you are royalty now because of 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 uh, your your son's position. No, he's royalty. And you know he's my son because he's so very patient. And he knows all of the state's capitals. The United States capitals? So wait. Yes, of course he does. Prince Charles knows all the United States capitals. Yes, call him right now. His number. Hold on. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Hold on. I'm calling Prince Charles right now. I'm calling Prince Charles. Hold on. I'm calling Prince Charles right now. This is now. good sportsmanship of, of Brian to do this. Hello, this is Prince Charles. All right, Prince Charles, cut the shit. What's the capital of Georgia? Oh, I'm sorry. Who's this? I don't believe this I owe you This is Justin Robert no, Young. Please. Stop fucking around, all right? Look, either you're no. shitting or you're quitting right now. Give me the fucking... I know you know it. I talked to your dad. I know your dad's Admiral Nelson. Don't be a piece of shit on this, Charles. You How give me you the fucking... You give me, you give me the fucking state capital of Georgia. Uh, this type of glove slap would not be appreciated. But I will meet you with pistols at dawn in Atlanta, Georgia, my good sir. Fuck, he's legit. I'm just gonna hang up. <laughs> just gonna hang <laughs> up. God damn! Wow, do you feel like you got good information out of that call? Uh, out of that phone, a friend, Justin? I totally forgot what we were talking about. <laughs> <laughs> Well, what went on? No, yes, a blue Peter is Admiral Nelson, somebody who impregnates the Queen Mother, but's also a sea captain. So I don't know whether or not this is naughty or nautical, but it's kind of both. Well, I can't. I, we can't. This we can't put. If I put both into the computer, well, the science machine captain will break who up. Impregnates the Queen Mother of England. How would you categorize it then? Throw it to science. I don't give a fuck. Calling her Queen you Mother saw, sounds very sci-fi. You saw what I you saw what I had to deal with. It involved cum and waves, man. Like, what are you asking me? Why do we have to have these lines in 2020? Well, okay. <laughs> I mean, who are we to say what's not? Who are we to say what not? Maybe it's naughty. naughty to get in the water for all oh, my I'm sorry. Honey. I'm George H. W. Bush. Wouldn't be prudent. Like, ah, uh, I don't know. It's either nautical or naughty. Don't. Don't let a crack baby touch me. I'm George H.W. Bush. He hates them. He hates the crack babies. Well, that's the problem right there, sir. You're spending too much money on all them crack babies. It's me, H. Ross Pro. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like oh. it's, we're just incepting deeper and deeper. <laughs> we are. Oh. All right. Uh, all right. So Brian Man, has said. Fucking the, the, the cavalcade of characters this episode. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> 
<laughs> so Brian has given the answer of nautical as a good luck penguin. And Justin has... <laughs> penguin. Or pelican, pelican, excuse me. Pelican. Exactly. Okay. Very funny different. Is we're laughing at you like, ha! This <laughs> like I fucked up. It's a, pel- a penguin. It's clearly a pelican. I swear to God, the last time I just had... The last time I just had the same reaction to Bryce saying... Brian thought it was a good luck penguin was when I watched the entire Lord of the Rings trilogy. And I'm like, oh, this began in Hobbiton. (laughs) And Justin has answered both uh, with a bizarre abstract definition, including waves of cum, the queen mother and Prince Charles. who does Don't don't forget the secret bloodline of infiltrated uh, 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 seaman uh, admiralty. In, in the royal bloodline. Yes. And Atlanta is the capital of Georgia. And Atlanta is the capital of Georgia. All right. Uh, oh, my phone has become disconnected in all of the hubbub. All right. Uh, <laughs> we had to get the AT&P connection. Oh. All right. A blue Peter is... Uh, it is... Nautical. It is a blue... I win. It's, I win. Well, he used it. I win. Brian. I had both. I had both. I had both. <laughs> well, but Brian just said both. And so we're not nautical. No, so we're going to give. I did. I, I, I said we're gonna give, specifically a, a pelican. It's a nautical. Boats, yeah. boats, boats sounds a lot like both. <laughs> well, you're right. It does sound like it's both. A, but a good point. Yeah, no. Um, I so, think you should give it the point to him. I mean, I think he's got you it. You want to give him the point? I do. Okay. I do. Yeah. Well, you're going to get two points for the definition there. So Okay. Uh, it's, a, it's a wash on that round. All right. Yeah. Um, let's. How many more do we have? <laughs> how long? <laughs> Oh my goodness, we are okay. Uh, we're gonna jump far ahead. <laughs> we'll just do a handful more. <laughs> he, he turns around, he's like, Guys, weirdest thing. Turns out the earth is flat. We're at the edge. Uh, yeah. <laughs> good night, ladies and gents. <laughs> oh, Justin, we're gonna start with you. The term sure. is corsal, C O R S A L, corsal. <sighs> Shit. Um, I don't know if this allowed, but I don't give a fuck. I'm going to phone a friend. <laughs> He's going to phone a friend. Oh, my goodness. Okay. Well, uh, thanks to our friends over at AT&P. Uh, Justin is going to get connected to someone on the line very briefly. Tom's Corseful Shop House. Can I help you? Oh, shit. I have the wrong number. <laughs> oh my goodness oh no yeah no i gotta call another friend i okay. fucked up another solid drunk. phone connection from our friends at at&p <laughs> connecting the Dom's corpse old corpse old court whorehouse if you want to have sex with the corpse that washed up on the ocean you found the right place this is dumb can i help you uh all right this is gonna be weird is admiral nelson there <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah hold on he's in the back okay hold on right, let cool. me get him thank you hold on all right this phone transfer is brought to you. Well, hey, how are you? This is Admiral Nelson, and I'm having sex with the corpse. Corpse, of course. Corpse, corpse, <laughs> like that's one that's fine. made of sandpaper. <laughs> yeah, uh, I'm at I'm at a corpse warehouse. Who's this? Uh, hi. Uh, uh this is uh Justin. Look, Admiral. Um. Uh, you, you you fucked me on that last answer. All right, I asked you who oh, I asked God, you what a blue Peter course. was. You went on this big thing about how uh, 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 Prince Charles is your son and he knows all the state capitals. And then I called Prince Charles and he did know the state capital of Have Georgia, but anyone can know that in the age of the, the internet. The face of Cthulhu, you can see it if you eat mushrooms out of the anus of a dead person. And then have sex with the dead person, which I'm doing right now. Why? To come, of <laughs> course. So you're saying a corsal of course is is a is a what? I, I haven't said what a corsal is at all. Oh, I then what is what is a corsal the then? What is a corsal? I'm asking you. Oh, that's a nautical term. <laughs> but what is the nautical term? <laughs> it's private. It's also it's a sex thing that we do at sea. 
so I can't. It's a little bit naughty, so I shouldn't tell you. No, this is how you fucked me last time, dude. Like you fucking gave me a thing that was both. You said it was oh, a nautical term. Clear. Give me the very boring nautical term. I'm fucking a corpse. Well, all right, enough. Stop bragging. Give me the name of the nautical term. <laughs> the nautical term is corsal. And, and what, what is it? it? Means it's when you betray your first mate and Ooh. kick him off the bridge. Oh, you betray your first mates and kick him off yeah. the bridge. That's a corsal? It comes from the term change corsal. And then you kick him. You're like, first officer, let's change corsal. And then you kick him. Oh, also, and you the kick capital him. of California is Sacramento. <laughs> Tell you what, you're legit as fuck, dude. All right, man, I'll talk to you later. Bye. That All phone right. call brought to you by our partners over at AT and P, connecting the world. AT and P, uh, and good sportsmanship on you, Brian, for letting Justin take a second phone a friend after oh, that first yeah. one. That's fine. Yeah. I mean, we all need a little yeah. help. He's clearly having a tough time in points I on am. this game. That's right. I am. I'm not doing well. So I think a corsal is when you betray your first mate with a kick, and and you're doing it in a dramatic way because you say. Let's change course, and then you pregnant pause, and then say all, and then you kick them. Okay, and you're saying that's nautical. Yeah, that's a nautical. That is that is a very traditional, admiralian term. That's my favorite uh, J.R. Tolkien book, the Admiralian. The Brian. Admiralian. <laughs> <laughs> Corsal, C O R S. Hey, uh, no. You know what's weird is Justin got it almost entirely right. Whoa. But I'm going to say it's naughty and not nautical because what you're really doing is you're screwing your first mate when you do that. So it's naughty. I see. So kind of a... Uh, like we both agree mm -hmm. that, that it's kicking your first mate off the side of your boat with... with but you're a, saying... But you're I'm saying, saying it's with, with your dick. No, I'm just saying you're you're screwing your first mate when you do that, and so that's naughty. Oh, morally naughty oh, is yes. biblically naughty. Yes. I see. Yeah. Well, well, biblically I mean, naughty yeah. is. Oh, yeah, that's, that's more. Yeah. That's exactly. Yeah, gag. yeah. It's more. Um, it's more uh, cosmically naughty. Caustically naughty. Caustically. Caus Ca causally. Cost co lee. Cost cost co lee. Yeah. Naughty. Sam's yes. Club Lee naughty. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh Corsal is It's been Naughty. <laughs> <laughs> Corsal is of course. <laughs> Man, that Admiral Nelson, he's really he's really not doing you any favors, Justin. <laughs> fucking you up. Oh he is, man. I don't know why I listen to that fucker. Corsal is of course. This is from UrbanDictionary.com. Calcified manges between a woman's teeth. Oh, wow, can that be? Who would calcified who? manges between a woman's <laughs> teeth? Bing. That's calcified manges in between a woman's teeth. Uh, in it. Wow, that bitch has. Also, who the fuck gets jizzed in the mouth and then stands around for three hours going? Well, someone doesn't live. Um. Okay, we got. <laughs> someone didn't go to boarding school. <laughs> Yeah, he's just holding that. He's just having fun with he that. Is. All right. No, yeah, for audio listeners, Brian has literally just got two fingers in either cheek, and he is spreading them out goatsy style, so he can he can illustrate what a corsal would look like in real time. This is They're like a wet. MythBusters episode. <laughs> yeah, yeah, right. I mean, it's like there's no way that's not a real. Thing. This is the one where they have to go Myth home for the night and come back and see how it looks in the morning. All right, we're going to go uh, to our final round here. The score currently is seven points for Brian and nine points for Justin. This is, of course, our five-point round, so it's still anybody's game. Yeah. The final term that we have here in Naughty or Nautical is... <laughs> cock foam. <laughs> 
cock foam. You, uh, you know what? I feel like Justin got a few calls. I'm, I'm, would you like to make another call well, with I, our friends I, at I, 18P? Yeah, I, I, I would if that's okay. okay. I'm, I'm going to make a phone call. Right connecting now. the world, 18P. Okay, here we go. <clears throat> I think the only other person... The only other person should be live on the screen, Bryce. <laughs> oh, you, I, yeah, we're good. Okay, all right. <laughs> we're connecting to the world. Eight <laughs> hey, listen, uh, Morgan. I spent Who so the much. Fuck is this? Oh, no, it's, you guys it's, are the it's, worst it's, phone it's etiquette. Brush, it's Brian. I'm just saying, everyone. <laughs> My name is Captain Morgan. Yes. Okay. I'm a I'm a sea captain. Yes. Yes. I like to sail the seas. <laughs> okay. The, 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 oh, you said. Wait, wait, who the fuck is this? <laughs> it's, it's Brian Brushwood. You oh, said. Oh, <laughs> I'm here for you, Brian. Okay. Good. 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 I'm Listen. here for you. Hey, Brian. Yes. Remember yes. the first time we met? Yes. Yes. Me yes. neither. You. you, you All right. <laughs> okay. Moving on. I just want to say that I think that you're a very special man. <laughs> good. Well, I very I, like. I very much like you. I, I have some good news for you. What's the good news? The good that news. That Jesus is coming, guy? No, okay, listen. I have spent the last. Well, then this other guy who knocked on my door is a fucking liar. <laughs> I have spent the last five years feeding yes. a stream uh -huh. of total lies to your arch nemesis, Admiral Nelson. He oh, believes. Bitch, he believes. Uh -huh. <laughs> that he has had sex with the queen. He believes he's part of the royal bloodline. He believes that 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 uh, 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 that that Atlanta is the capital of Georgia. Uh, you would not believe I've I've ruined his life. He's having sex with a corpse, eating mushrooms out of dead people's buttholes. And that's a bad thing. <laughs> oh, I thought you would be pleased. Maybe. Well, no, I was just thinking about doing it, but then <laughs> apparently this fuck shit a Admiral Nelson is doing it. <laughs> oh, no. And so now oh, I, no. I, look, look, it's not a bad thing. I just need a new Saturday. I, I, okay, I, I'm sorry. I, I thought I was doing you a favor. Hey, listen. No, I, I, no, 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 no. It's fine. I mean, I guess I'll just go play laser tag. <laughs> Uh, listen, I have a question on whether something is nautical or naughty, and it's been... Oh. <laughs> well, if you know anything about the captain, <laughs> you know that I am legally distinct from any intellectual property by Diageo Bottlers. If you know two things about the captain, you know he loves two things. <laughs> sailing and sailing. I call coming sailing. <laughs> okay, okay. Um, uh, 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 I'm sorry, real quick. Bryce, could you re repeat the question? Sure. Here we go. Thank you, Captain Morgan, for joining us here on Not a Car Night. Is that? <laughs> this is our friend Bryce. <laughs> this is Bryce. Oh I, he may not be able to hear me. I yeah, the... thought it was this one man I killed <laughs> because he. Because he was calling me names, and I said, who are you? And he said, I'm Federal Agent Bryce Castile. Well, uh, and I said, not anymore, and I stabbed him. Okay, Don't well, tell anybody wait, let's, about that. Yeah, let's not discuss. Hey, Bryce, what's your last name? Well, so, mm, uh, it's, it's the producer. That's right, Bryce the producer. We call him Bryce the producer. <laughs> Oh, Jesus, dodge the bullet there. Yeah. Phew. <laughs> uh, the, if you can tell us if this term is nautical. The last thing that Bryce Castillo said to me <laughs> as he fell into the waves is, you piece of shit, Morgan. I'm going to reincarnate myself in Virginia. And if it's the last thing I do, I will work to the ends of the earth to so fuck you in any way I can. Well, anyway, that was the last thing he said. What do you have to say, Brycey? Well, <laughs> if you could tell us about the term cock foam, if that's nautical cock or naughty. Foam. Cock Is foam. Nautical or naughty? Cock foam. <laughs> well, that's a name I haven't heard in a long time. Well, Brian, I have to know when it comes to cock foam. Yes, please. Is that it's as nautical as an anchor. 
Get that shit off the screen. <laughs> We're not getting a C and D on this shit. <laughs> Captain Henry James Morgan, I'm a real person. Look him up on Wikipedia. <laughs> Uh, I, I'm sorry, Captain, you were speaking of cock foam. Oh, sure, yeah. All right, so a cock foam is a, uh, when you, uh, you're on a boat <laughs> and you're, you're hanging around <laughs> and you're just shooting the shit, talking about your dreams, and uh, next thing you know, some guy's like, whoa, <laughs> is that a rope? <laughs> and you go... You piece of shit, dog. It's just the cock foam. Because it's a fake rope that you leave up to trick dogs. <laughs> so, would that count as nautical or naughty? Nautical. <laughs> okay. Come on. Hold on. So, Come so on. You're We're saying... not a bunch of roustabouts. <laughs> so what you're That's saying That's true, is... Brian. We're not roustabouts. <laughs> what it is, is it is a common nautical practice in which yeah. you take rope and and feign as though it's your penis in order to fool Doug. No, 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 no. That's called a trick dick. <laughs> I'm sorry. Then what, yeah. What's a cock foam again? A cock foam is when uh, you got a dug, a real dug <laughs> on, on, on board your boat. Yes. And, and then you leave a stray rope and he's like, ah, I'm dug. That's a stray rope, and you go, ah ha, fuck you, it's a cock foam. Okay. Oh, and then next thing you know, he's looking to get the cock foam because you make him get it. And then he comes back, and you have a bunch of stray cat food hanging out of your zipper. And he's like, why is your dick mangled? And you go, oh no, that's. That's my trick dick. <laughs> okay, hold on. It sounds like it sounds both, like he defined both, both trick times, dick again. Yeah, it, it sounds like yeah. both of them. You deceive Doug into believing he's seeing your Johnson when, when in no, fact, no, no. One's a fake rope. Yes. The other is cat food that you pretend to be a penis. <laughs> okay. One is a trick dick. That's the penis. Right. The cock foam is the loose rope. That you use to fold dogs. Doug. Okay. No. But that's only real dogs. Like, don't, <laughs> unless he's 100% dog, don't even try it. So, so you just lay the rope on the, on the deck and, and yes. a, a real dog just instantly thinks that, that well, those are. He's like, ah, it's a loose rope. <laughs> Everybody panic. And you're like, fuck it. Aha. We all laugh at the dog. Uh, how, how, how many times have you done this, Captain Morgan? Four. <laughs> but the same Doug? No, they're usually different Dougs. <laughs> there was Doug Johnson, Doug Egon, <laughs> Doug Elliot, and then the one guy I thought was named Doug <laughs> until he was federal agent Bryce Castillo. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, no, we're running out of minutes on the at and P phone oh call, so goodness, unfortunately. Oh, oh, it sounds like we've run out of time. Oh, Captain Morgan, I'm so sorry that we're all... Oh, God, man, it, it just broke. I, uh, it which just, is so weird The at and connection is usually so good, at and connecting the world. Uh, at and Oh, Thank my you. goodness. at and um, oh. Well, so, Brian, we're going to... <laughs> if you can condense <laughs> this a fine yeah, lamp. No, it's clearly <laughs> a nautical term okay. for a rope laying on a ship deck. A rope laying on a ship deck. Yes, and anything that happens after a Doug misunderstands, that's a tricky dick. I see. So it's okay. It's it's like a uh, it's uh, it's Classical like an impeachment. Prank. It's you can tell it's got something that happened. It's, it's, it's not. It's, it's like a, yeah. it's rohypnol is what it is. It's like in and of itself, it's not sexual <laughs> until you do something. <laughs> until with somebody it. bad uses it to abuse it. Yeah, I see. I'm not going to write down Rufy on the paper. Okay, good, okay. Good. Uh, Justin, and again, thank you for good sportsmanship for for uh, sticking around for a second lifeline. Uh, we uh, and maybe you want to turn your phone or your turn your microphone back on. Uh, we are looking for a cock foam, yeah. cock foam. Uh oh, that's cum. <laughs> now is that nautical or naughty? First off, no, that's a cum that comes out of a penis. Um, uh, it's just it's cock foam because sometimes it bubbles. 
come is cockfuck. So it's ejaculate. Mm. Eja- oh, come. And, oh, oh, yeah. Uh-huh. Come and and that is okay. Cock foam. So you look at it and you're like, man, that's uh-huh. you know, especially if you had a lot of Mountain Dew, <laughs> it just bubbles. <laughs> you know. That's right. You know, you ever, you ever tried and we that all one? know, and of course we all know, yeah. and have seen that happen. Chug a two liter of Mountain Dew and then, uh, you know. Come a bunch, um, and you're like, I'm, "Wow, I'm, boy, I'm, does it bubble!" I'm mm-hmm. sorry, I feel like I have a moral responsibility to place a quick call here. This is this. Oh, is, oh, oh, okay, yeah. all right, interesting. Uh, um, I hope our friends at 18P uh, can connect us here on. <clears throat> Hello. Hello, is this federal agent Bryce Doug <laughs> Castillo? <laughs> Okay, listen, you're in grave danger. I need you to take his shelter immediately. Do not react to any ropes you see. I'm sorry. Goodbye. <laughs> Anonymous tip. <clears throat> wow. It sounded so clear on that AT&P connection. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> so... We've got our answers here. Brian has said it's a nautical turn for a rope that is laying on a deck. Uh, but before <laughs> before another crew member believes it to be a fake dick, otherwise that's a tricky which, dick. Wait, it becomes a tricky dick, which is... It did sound like cat yeah, food was involved yeah, in some part yeah, of that, but yeah, I'm not going to... Cat gonna. food coming out the trousers, and then that is what he thinks. That's is a dirty. tricky dick. Yeah, no, the... Oh, oh it's just the rope that's laying there. Yeah. Perfect. And, and of you course, you make fun of him because he thinks it's a loose rope, but really it's a cock foam. Oh. And uh, Justin has said that it is um, cum. Ejaculate. AKA yeah. ejaculate. Yeah. 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 All right. Ejaculate. Oh. Naughty. Oh, God. Oh. I hope my daughters never, ever hear any of it. All right. Gentlemen, for five times points, cock foam is. Bump, bump, rope. Bum bum. Bum bum bum. It's been one week. Ah, oh, damn it! Yeah, yeah. it is cum. Yeah. Cock foam is foam that comes from the car. <laughs> yes, it was cum the whole time. <laughs> Thank you once again to Ballwasher69 who put this game together. That was a lot of that was a lot of fun. I think we we have a lot more here, so we might do some in the after show or save it for another time. If you've got a game that you would like us to play here in the middle section of the show, which is what this has been, email it to us, mail at nightattack.tv, and we might use it here in the middle show, which is what this has been. Thank you. Uh, hey, man. Uh, hey, Brian. <laughs> yeah, you want to do a little you bit wanted... of diamond time? <laughs> I think we, yeah, we all know what we're doing. Diamond time cleanser. is where you shout out your projects. <laughs> Right here, live on the show, top three posts each and every week. Poodle Puncher begins us. Uh, uh, never thought it was possible, but the VOD squad is celebrating 200 episodes this Wednesday. Join us at 9 p.m. Central for a look back at the past four years. We'll be opening up the voice channel for questions and comments. That is twitch.tv slash the VOD squad. Yeah. Congrats. 200 is a, 200 is a good. A that's man. a big number, man. Awesome, folks. awesome job. Uh, Discs of Tron, a.k.a. Otfi, writes in saying the annual shitload of Burgers Day is September 17th. Uh, Shitloadsofburgersday.com. Oh, my goodness. Uh, uh, Somebody has replied with Uh, (laughs) schoon.sexy. Shitloadofburgers.com takes you to a very very simply designed website with with an H1 shitload of Burgers Day and an H2 of September 17. Damn. (laughs) So you should enjoy a shitload of burgers however you want. I didn't know that was a holiday, but uh, God damn it if it ain't. Uh, Schoon.sexy brings you to... Uh, the Twitter, our <laughs> Night Attack Twitter. <laughs> the Night Attack Twitter. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Sign writes, yo, did we not have to celebrate Chris Brown? Because it's my birthday, y'all. Woo! Firstly, I've birthday. still not found a place to move to. Any help with the search would be lovely. Next, you might have noticed that I'm no longer agent sign, but now... I'm named Sine Wave. Well, yeah, it's part I'm of his reassignment my... under the tutelage of a certain Agent Castillo. Who gave you this number? <laughs> Son of a bitch. Uh, well, I'm following in my father's footsteps and I'm launching a talk show. It's going to be called the Sine Wave Show. 
You'll see me as a VTuber, a 3D CGI AI character playing games and hanging out with all the guests. Think Max Headroom, but black and with a torso <laughs> and without a speech impediment. Uh, you can find uh, that when it launches on my new rebranded Twitch, twitch.tv slash sine wave. Until then, give me a follow, won't you? You won't regret it. Oh, thank you very much, sign. Uh, shall we open up our mail sacks? <laughs> open it up. Yes, we should do that here. Let's it's been. Sounds grand. Super grand. This is the part of the show where we read your emails that you sent into mail at nightattack.tv, including this one. We received this one in the middle of the show. Um, oh, goodness. We're not going to read all of this, but this is from our friend M. Bombo Cube. And Bombo oh, says. Let me guess. Is he high? <laughs> Well, that's <laughs> M. Bob Q says, subject line, don't name the dog hip hip hooray. <laughs> it's racist. Oh, wait, what? <laughs> it means the city of Jews has fallen. <laughs> also, I am stoned, so don't listen to me. <laughs> it's been. <laughs> I didn't even have to put my prediction in an envelope, man. <laughs> I will say the Wikipedia does not back this up, but there we go. Thank you, Bombo Q. This email. All right. Number one, can we please have just it's been on like just on the on soundboard? The soundboard. Whenever something's awkward, it could never not be followed with just it's been. It's been. Okay, oh. we'll have to we'll do it manually today. Okay. Uh, we also got this oh. email from Paul in Canada. Uh, Paul sent uh, Al Ford. Hold on, before we get to Paul, <laughs> what a testament to a character many of us know. Whether or not you've ever met Bomba Cube, you definitely know the guy who gets too high and tells you that hip hip hooray is racist because it means the city of Juice has fallen. <laughs> if you have not met that guy. Don't worry, your adventures will fly. If you haven't met like, that guy, you're that guy. Eventually, you, you will. That if you guy, haven't, you, are that you guy. will. <laughs> yeah, yes. If you look around the table and you don't know the guy who got, gets too high and says that hip hip array is racist because it yeah. means the city of Jews has fallen, yeah. I got news for you. There are two people in the oh. world people who get high and think that hip hip array means the city of Jews has fallen, and people who get high and have Scatman John Epiphany. <laughs> it's been. It's been okay. Scat man shot. I forgot all about him. <laughs> man, he made a lot of predictions. <laughs> 2020, man. <laughs> all right. Thank you very much to our partners over at AT and B. AT and B for connecting us with this soundbite. <laughs> it's been. <laughs> an email from Paul. We're not going to read much of this because this is very specific. Oh. But uh, uh, subject line watches. Uh, Brian is looking at replacing his pebble. Possibly. Yes. Um, Paul, uh, with a, a lot of information here, suggests the new uh, Series 6 Phoenix, F-E-N-I-X, from Garmin. Is that something oh, you were looking for from Garmin? F-E-N-I-X at Gar Garmin. Because I, I know you, well, battery life is oh, very important. Oh, just get the goddamn Apple Watch. Enough with this off-brand bullshit. He did get, <laughs> Brian did get an app, famously got an Apple I Watch did. at I launch and then immediately stopped using it. Yeah. I didn't well, like no, it. that was before we were in a workout click. Oh, yeah, We're join the workout, workout click. click now. Okay. All right, all right. Um, that's interesting because, I mean, really, as long as it has long battery life and uh, and, and has notifications, that's really all I, I use them for. Uh, oh, and, and measures uh, sleep tracking stuff. Sleep. And the workout. sleep tracking yeah. is your yeah. big thing, yeah. Uh, but, but, dude, it this sounds Apple like, Watch, man, it does it. Yeah. Uh, it does it, it. He says it has a color and, and display. Of... It does have the sleep tracking oh. good battery life so maybe that's something for me yeah. oh actually if you read lower on that list no workout click as it turns <laughs> out yeah it turns out there's no workout click on there wow that's fucked up i wouldn't buy it i actually think it's haunted trash to text my personal friend captain morgan to send you a yeah. fuck you <laughs> yeah, i'm just saying you know uh, we've got uh, one last idea here from Lucinda. Lucinda writes, Hello, Bryce and others. Jury used to do a segment on its eponymous show called High Thoughts. Night Attack should consider adopting this orphaned bit. Some of the best ones could be potentially made into a uh, fill-in-the-blank style game. Best, Lucinda. What is High Thoughts? I don't I don't quite remember High Thoughts, Justin. Uh, uh, I, I assume they're emails from Mabombo Q. <laughs> so, I would, uh, so I would take emails... Mm -hmm. um, and I would uh, uh, I would ask people when they were high to email the show, and then I would just uh, 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 
Would you put up a picture of Pie High Dog? It's been one piece <laughs> of me. So we just have this music. Yeah. Mm. Dude. And then, uh, uh, for example, all right, so just just yell hi. Th- oh, wait, no, here we go. Hip, hip, hooray <laughs> is racist. It means the city of Jews has fallen. <laughs> So it'd basically be that. So uh, okay. people, people would, um, people would email in high thoughts, and then we would. Uh, so Same. I guess if we were gonna do it on night attack, we would do it in uh, this segment. We would, we would, we would each, maybe in the after show or something uh, like yeah, that. Yeah, sure, we would, sure, like, sure. Each, we would each read one high thought and go like uh, 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 around. Uh-huh. So it's kind of like a little bit like like in the year two thousand, like on Conan. Yeah, yeah. But yeah. but uh, with uh, people's random high thoughts that, that might they be would fun. email in. Well, uh, yeah. if you uh, can comprehend what I'm saying uh, and you have some high <laughs> thoughts, send it in mail at nightattack.tv. Yeah. And if you have any other emails, questions, or comments, uh, please send them in to mail at nightattack.tv and we'll read them at the end of the show, which is what this has been. Thank you. Holy cow, Justin Robert Young. What did we learn today? <laughs> uh, d- uh, Dugs are idiots. <laughs> and Dave's. <laughs> Dave's are brothers. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and uh, I, 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 I don't know where the deep lore about Deep Charles wound up leaving off because there was some real like inception level twist to that that I don't know if I fully followed. Most importantly, we learned that we love you guys so much. Who's the bit boss, Bryce? The bit boss. Our bit boss with 3,002 bits is Jordan DeMoss. Our sub boss with 10 gifted subs is BizDism. Thank you to BizDism and Jordan DeMoss. Don't forget to go to schoon.sexy. That's S K O O N dot S C X Y to follow. Of the show. Thank you very much to federal agent Bryce Doug Castillo. <laughs> May he rest in peace. Thank you to Captain yeah. Morgan, Admiral Nelson. Thank you to Admiral Nelson, my personal guide, Admiral Nelson. Also, thank you to Prince Charles of the Royal Family for taking my call this late at night. All of our friends are at AT&P, connecting the world. AT&P. Yes, thank exactly. you to the city of yeah. Atlanta, Georgia. Um, uh-huh. <laughs> Man, uh, hey, uh, I love you guys. We'll see you next Tuesday. It's been <laughs> Dying of Fire. <laughs> Night attack. Night attack. Night attack. I love you. Diamond Club hopes you have enjoyed this program. <laughs>